So Ant technology um, uses a, a single frequency, um, it's keeping it at a very high level, and it's sending very short uh, bursts of information. Um, usually the time that the information is sent is in the microseconds. So you're sending uh, a little eight byte payload of information and you're sending it uh, like a quarter of a second, so every 250 milliseconds, and you're sending this very small burst of energy, a very small burst of RF, which is very small energy. So, so it's very low power. Um, the both sides, so it's kind of a predetermined periodic radiator is sort of the, the way ant technology works. Both sides know the per predetermined periodicity at which they're going to transmit, um, and the receiver finds that predetermined periodic transmitter and then locks into that signal, and that's how the receive side is a very low power because once they get in sync, the receiver is only on for the known transmit cycle, and they're just sitting there uh, pulsing energy uh, so the one is about to transmit, the receiver turns on because it knows it's it, the time slot that it's about to transmit, and then the transmitter transmits, and then the receiver goes to bed. And their ANT technology does all that for you, which is really nice. Um, and then from the high-level system, the telemetry works, and it's very low power. Um, that's pretty much the core of ANT. Um, and it's very nice because they have multiple channels, and you can do multiple receivers, so all those time slots are shared among the heart rate monitors. And speed and cadence and power sensors. Um, Bluetooth is um, very different. Um, it's a connection oriented. With Ant, you don't necessarily know if anybody's listening or not. You're transmitting and the receive side's very passive and you don't know if anybody's listening, which is fine. Um, that has some advantages. And Bluetooth is very connection oriented. So you're transmitting an advertising state. So you, there's some different states in Bluetooth. You start by transmitting an advertising state. So you're advertising uh, that you're available to be connected, um, and then the, the kind of the usually the phone side or the receiver side um, sees the sensor that's advertising, connects to it. So now you went just from advertising state to connected state, and then when you're in the connected state, nobody can really see the sensor anymore because it's not advertising. So now you've maintained a connection, Bluetooth connection. Uh, Bluetooth is a hopper, so it's it's jumping through that ISM band. So it's constantly moving around in the frequency domain. Um, and it's very sophisticated. I won't bore you with all the details of Bluetooth low energy, but it's a very sophisticated way of hopping. Um, there's actually a map that gets shared with some, if noisy channels exist, it'll skip channels. And so there's a lot of collision avoidance systems built into the technology. Um, so it's a very robust uh, connection-oriented system. Um, you know, it, it, there's, there's a lot of other di differences in terms of the way uh, after a connection you discover all the services of a device, whether it's a heart rate service or a power service. So, uh, so with Ant, you're getting the payload information every 250 microseconds, sorry. Ant, with Ant, you get the payload every 250 milliseconds, and then you get this 8-byte payload and you, and you know what to do with it because of the specification. Uh, with Bluetooth, you have all these services that are kind of all within one device. They're not separate channels or they're not necessarily separate payloads. It's almost like separate bins. And then the data comes across with a, uh, like a tag that it came from this bin, it came from cycling power measurement, and you get that data. So you can have heart rate, cycling power measurement, all that stuff kind of strangely within the same sensor if you wanted to, and you would just discover all those services. So the way the data is presented is quite different. Um, and again, both have advantages and disadvantages. Um, one of the neat things about ANT is you can have a transmitter and receiver simultaneously, so you can transmit on one side and then your bike computer could be a transmitter and receiver. Uh, Bluetooth being connection oriented makes it hard to turn on a secondary transmit when you're connected and doing, or having two head units onto one sensor is difficult with Bluetooth being connected oriented. There, constantly evolving um, those kind of technologies, so Bluetooth is interested in adding those more mesh network type uh, technologies to 4.1, and then they'll, you know, it's Bluetooth 4.0, and now there's 4.1, and they'll, they'll keep continue advancing that. So they definitely want to do those features, but they started with the core, a one-to-one -one connection is really the, the, the key thing that Bluetooth is known for. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, hey, if you thought that, uh, if you like that video, if you like that video okay. So.
Hey, if you like that video and want to watch more, click above.